I have been waiting to get a hold of one of these boxes for almost two years. Let's open it up and see what is inside. Hi, I'm Amy the Rainy Day Shopper. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Depop. And as you can see by the sassy little polka dotted box here, I have another thread up unboxing for you. That's right, it is Mystery Box Monday. And let's face it, thread up boxes really aren't mystery boxes at this point. We mostly know what is going to be with them. The challenge is to see whether they're good or not so good boxes. And there have been a few that are just not good. I know that. So this one is one of two boxes and I've been trying to get a hold of both of them for almost two years. And no, it's not the DIY designer. I totally gave up on that one. Uh, they raise the price. I'm sure it's worth it, but I just don't have time to spend like every 15 minutes online looking for a box way too much time. But this one I did happen to get when I did spend one day almost every 15 minutes online. And this is either a jewelry box, a DIY, or a fun box. And I think it's a fun box. So let's hope that we have some fun opening this one. I've got my scissors. Let's get into this one. Now, if you have recently gotten a fun box, I know Danny B's gotten a couple of good ones and Cali Mom Collects gets some, one, some good ones. I think Danielle gets some too. Uh, so if you've gotten a good fun box lately, let me know down in the comments, drop your link so other people can follow them to find your unboxings because I always love seeing what other people got too. Let's see, we've got the paper and it says hello we're here we love to help sweet now which box is this oh it's a fun box okay so this is $28 and then $5 shipping or something like that I can't remember the exact shipping but let's hope this is fun because I'm ready for some we've got the little pokey dotties I'm not gonna show you okay and what we have looks like this Let's dig into this baby. Oh, if you wanna know where this one is from, this is from Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, so first things first, I see some $1.99 Deluxe Magic Stretch Gloves. Not really my idea of fun, but hey, they're in the box. They will be a great donation, so that's okay. Uh, we also then, ooh, Quay Australia. I don't know that brand, I'll have to look it up. I think I've heard of it before, but I'm not sure. Let's see, there's a pouch, and then there are some, ooh, new tags. These are sassy. Uh, so they have the tags. These are really cute, and I don't think, they're dusty, but I don't think they are super, oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Ah, okay, the dust just got in my eyeballs. That's awkward, okay. Oh. Problem with having long lashes just dusted the innards of these. Okay, so I don't know what these are. I will put a little thing up on the board. It does look like the case has, like the zipper is a little messed up. Let me see here. Yeah, the zipper is messed up right there. I can see if I can, there's one of the little teeth that is bent. I can see if I can straighten that out. I don't know if that's leather or not. I was trying to smell it. It doesn't really smell like much of anything. So there we go. All right, we have, ooh, another new tag items. It is a Fortnite backpack. It is super cute. It's itty bitty. Fortnite is a thing still. Let's see. It's a mag. Oh, it's a magnify lunch kit. That is super cute. It has like wrinkled up cardboard inside that's supposed to hold it in shape. But that's a really cute little backpack. I'm sure someone will love it. And I can't. I mean, I don't imagine the price or the resale price is going to be very high. But I will look it up and I will put it on the screen for you so you can see. We'll all discover this together. Okay. Ooh, another thing with tags. This is Sidekicks Energy. Dun, dun, dun. It is shiny pink, but there's something inside and it may just be padding, but let's take a look. All right. Oh. Okay. They are itty bitty slippers and these are a size small, five to six and a half. So like little travel slippers, cute for slipping on on the plane or something if you want comfy or in a hotel room. All right, I don't know those again. Ooh, looks like there's some jewelry in there. Okay. Uh, so I love the fact that there's a bunch of new with tag stuff right off the bat. These I will look up. Let's see, hold on. Did they say anything? Let me look at the card. Maybe it says words and the words might tell me things. Hold on. Do, 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 travel, formal events. Dancing, nightlife, maternity, anywhere. Okay, so these would be fab dancing shoes. Gonna be super comfy. I always wear flats dancing because I like to dance when I dance. I don't want to like wobble around on heels. Ooh, someone comfy. All right. Ooh, what is this? 
Haven, www.lavenderboutique.com. This was an Arrowhead Pendant 25. It is $25, new with tags. So, uh, let's see. Natural, so are those wood, those look like they're wood. Oh, look, a fun, why is there hair? Why is there, at least it's probably just like fuzzy from cotton or being wrapped, is that bone? This might be bone or stone. I'll have to see if the tag says anything else. Just says natural. I can look it up. Um, so that's kind of fun, boho. If people aren't too worried about cultural appropriation, they will totally rock this. It is very cute. It is very nice. The beads feel good. Let me put that back in its little zip a lock bag. Tray fancy. All right, so far, like everything in this box has been new, which is cool. Oh. All right, we have a cute little clutch or like a, ooh, okay. So yeah, it's just like a little folded wallet, Stella and Dot. It's really cute. It's red. Is this a makeup? Like it has these little things here. So is that like for makeup? It's too flat, I feel like, for makeup. Let's see, does it actually snap? Eh, what is on my finger? Awkward. So yeah, it's cute. It's like red pebbled leather. I think that's leather. I will have to, let's see if there are any tags. I closed it up now. Um, Tags would be useful. I don't see any tags, so it doesn't tell me. But I will do a little search online. I'm just checking the pockets real quick. All the zippers work. It looks very clean. Nope, oh, that one has just a fake pocket. Oh no, it goes that way tricky so I feel like this is for makeup just because there's these slots here and these little slots there but I don't I wouldn't really want to put makeup with this because this feels like suede and that would just get dirty anyway if I put something up on the screen I have found it if I don't I haven't found it so that's cute I found a few pieces of Stella and Dot jewelry that I've listed so that's been fun all right Socks, us versus them. Stussy cross socks, black and white. And they have, it's an X, like with a palm tree. What is that? Us versus them. Doesn't have a price, but they are brand new socks. Look there, are these men's or women's? It does not say. Stand firm. It's like a palm tree and a, a this looks like here. A machete or a pirate sword so like are they cutting like is this are they, are they cutting down the their cross cut so, so they're cutting down the tropical rainforest what is that I mean I don't know if I I don't know I'm gonna have to look this up I'm not trying to support the message of these socks if there is one hmm. Ooh, look at this is dinosaur Christmas so cute so these are little jammies they look like they are target are we target <clears throat> yes, distributed by Target Corporation. These are Wonder Shop Small Men's Sleepwear. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Just see if I can find a picture of them so I don't have to unwrap them. Uh, but yeah, they're just little bottoms and a little top. And those are just adorable. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'll just see if I can find measurements too. Because again, I, who wants to open this? This is a perfect gift. And if I have to open it, it will ruin it. Okay, it looks like we have maybe three more things in here. So nothing like you know, I was hoping for like Tiffany or something. Some people have gotten that, but no. Uh, we've got Urban Outfitters, $20, little silver hoops. They are, if this is their card, new on card, just silver tone. Yeah, they're not scratched up or anything, so they look in good shape. Those are fun earrings. All right, now I put the jammies back on top. We have another Stella and Dot piece, maybe. Let's see what's in here okay we've got a little card let's look at that this is number 176 of 200 it's the french deco necklace this unique style and dot style was made by artisans from around the globe and designed to be collected and treasured i don't think that things are designed that to be collected and treasured are usually as collectible as places want them to be but I don't know if this is legitimately 176 of 200 it's pretty high in the numbers but it's still collectible 
Um, oh my goodness. So this is in the box, but it's not new in the box. So that is pretty fab. Hold on, let me take it out. So it's not tied in or anything. Um, let's see, that is actually really cool. Um, let's see, do we have all of our stones? It looks like we do. Okay, look at that. Super cutie. Oh my gosh. And the paperwork in there makes it really easy for me to look this up. So hopefully there'll be something on the screen for you. Um, oops, hold on. Are you twisted? There we go. I fixed you. All right. I was like, are you stuck? Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to have to figure out how to get it in this box just a little better so that it will not be sliding around when shipped. It did come with this on top of it, but it really should sit something like this and it was all crumbled up on one end. So it could get scratched or broken if not padded better, which means I may just need to wrap it. I don't know if there's anything else under there. I doubt. Oh, there are little places for it to fit through under in the box. So that's cute. Oops, let me put this card back inside. It looks like we have a scarf next as our last piece. How many pieces are supposed to be in this thing? 20 pieces? Oh, was that 20 pieces? Hold on, I want to check. Oh, 10 items. Okay, I didn't think 20, but you know, wishful thinking, why not? So far for $28, I'm pretty pleased with this. Oh, wait, there's, no, those are the earrings. Okay, we already saw those. Okay, this feels very soft. It is just a scarf cream that seems to be unbranded. Um... I don't feel like it's hand knit, but it could be, let's check out the tassels down. It could be a hand knit piece. It is pretty fuzzy. I will probably donate it rather than list it just because it, although it is really soft and really nice, uh, it's not, it's really long too. It's not branded, so it's going to be really hard to sell. And I can't say for certain that it's handmade. I think it might be just based on how these are tied. And I don't feel like it's wool. It could be a wool blend. It's really soft. It could be a nice wool, but I don't know. I feel like it's, I don't know, acrylic. It looks a little acrylic-y to me. So if anyone wants this, just let me know and I will send it your way as a little fun thing. First one down in the comments or send me an email down in the comments. Uh, let me know and I will send it to you because everyone can use a cozy little scarf. Let's see. We already looked at these. All right. That was my first fun box. I'm super excited. That was really fun. I have no idea what the value of any of this is. So I'm certain it is definitely more than what, $38 with shipping or 30, whatever it is, as far as that goes for real sale. So this box is what I would definitely consider a success. Have you gotten a hold of the fun boxes? I haven't seen too many of the unboxings on the YouTube in a while. I used to see a bunch like when I first started reselling of the fun boxes, but I haven't seen any for a while. So if you have some, let, let me know down in the comments, put your link there so other people can follow them. I really appreciate you joining me here for this Mystery Box Monday, even though the thread of boxes are not super mysterious. We all kind of know what's gonna be in them as long as we don't have a really bad one. So I'm crossing my fingers for you if you got a box and I look forward to seeing you here next Monday to see what other mysterious things come out of the boxes. Ooh, and remember stop by on Thursdays is the other day when I post videos and those are usually about thrifting or Poshmark or something like that. So if you enjoy spending time, I hope that you'll be here and stick around. So hit that subscribe button because we're almost to a thousand. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, we are to a thousand, but I don't know. It's taken this long. It might take two more years at this point. Who knows? These things are mysterious. I'm just hanging out here having fun with my awesome folks who follow me and who I love talking to down in the comments. So say hi so I can say hi back. I will see you later, alligators. Bye.